it's Michigan and Tennessee for the first time ever on the hardwood. Winner to the Sweet 16, and let's go. And I'm so eager to see Tennessee's game plan in terms of how they defend her. But right now for Michigan, they've got to keep Tennessee off the glass if they're going to have a chance here this evening. Here we go. Her free throw shooting percentage is up as well because she gets to free throw line eight times a game. But it's her hands and her footwork. She does so much work before the ball even gets to her. To the line. Conray Johnson is so good off the bounce. Here she turns her defense into offense, taking it the length of the floor. Both these teams very efficient on the offensive end. Tennessee with that 17-7 record. Kishkinawa buries the jumper. An energizer for this team when she comes in. And, and honestly, her point production and her shooting percentage is up coming off the bench. Tennessee still struggling. Now 2 of 10 from the floor. Brown, great find. It's Hillman. Score. Nas Hillman running the floor and her teammates reward her for the easy two. That basket's good from the free throw line. I think, honestly, she's in better condition so she can run the floor better. She's more efficient. And I can't go back to that free throw percentage enough. When you're as active as she is, on cue with oh. the offensive rebound put back, she's getting to the free throw line. Well, apparently, so when the pandemic began, sorry, I mean, Kevin, but when the pandemic began, Nas went home and she and her mom watched film of last season they get. You know, and just a testament to all the players that the ones that took advantage of the time when they could, of course, the sacrifices necessary to make this season go, they are immense. Now, there's Brown. Walker in transition. Long two. Key cleans it up. Between Key and Cash Kittawa, trying to keep her bigs fresh because she's going to keep that fresh body against Hillman, it looks like. That three is good. Haley Brown. I'm going to say Kelly's got a stare similar to Pat, but it's in the family. There is a look that she can <laughs> give, and when I saw it, it was at the officials. And I've also seen Kelly chew the officials that I think would make Pat very proud. Do you mention Davis and Burrell? They were terrific in the first round win. One of eight from the field combined, just the two points. Into the paint, and that one's down. Horston. The Lady Vols down four. Two minutes into the second quarter. Offensive rebound and the putback for Burrell, the junior from Vegas on the board. There she is, the catch, the basket, and the foul. Walker number four in the white and Johnson angling for a moment. Six to shoot. Oh, and the block, the recovery from Key. One of the vicious shot blockers in the country. Kelly Hopper has said she's okay with the turnovers when they're attacking, when they're, they're aggressive like turnovers. Those kind of turnovers in the half court aren't going to make the head coach happy. Righty hook, that's down. Haley Brown with eight. Winner to face Baylor or Virginia Tech in the Sweet 16. Hellman spin and that one wiped away. Boy, it's been tough for Tennessee from the outside. There's Hillman. Haley Brown knocks down another triple. Danielle Roush, the Syracuse native, looks for help. And it's Leah Brown who bails her out. What? We can talk about the defense for Tennessee, but on the offensive end, it's just been pretty stagnant. A lot of one-on-one -on -one ball. Defense is kick it back out and get the movement going that way for the Lady Vols. Now six for Kush Kittle. Oh, Hillman, terrific position. Roush is really had being thrown into this position without any doubt. And I'm surprised Tennessee isn't really picking up the pressure on her. Oh, sweet scoop and score. Eight straight 20-win seasons. Now, Michigan only played 20 games to this point this year, so, of course, you'd think that stretch, or that streak, I should say, would have been extended to nine. Well, I'll just, I've made the same a couple of times, and it's easy for me to sit here and be critical, but I feel like some of these teams that went on pauses, 
And because of Tennessee's ability to score in transition, Michigan cannot get comfortable. He misses lead to transition, and we see it there as Renata Davis gets on to keep an eye on Brown, inbounding the ball and coming in. Or getting the ball, I should say. Leah Brown. There's a long stride into the paint. Brown a little strong on that. Davis pulls up, yes. Great outlet pass, easy two, for, I should say easy. Renata Davis makes it look easy in transition. Two of three from the field in the second half. Had just the two points at half number one. Another three. Friday at 4 Eastern on ESPNU, Michigan against Minnesota Duluth. Turnover. Horston, easy lay-in. Back to a 12-point game. Johnson. Right back to the All-American. This time she scores it. Hillman battling with Key. Brown, no look out to Maddie Nolan. As Tennessee's now 0 of 8 from downtown. 12 seconds left, third quarter. Crossover, Walker. Hard bounce off the window. Davis with the second chance. The Wolverines attempting to reach the Sweet 16 for the first time ever. Layup is good, and it was Burrell in the blow by. They've got five from deep. Davis a misfire. Lead feed, Hillman running the floor. That's been an illustration of the day for Davis. It's been a difficult one. Burrell, huge goal of hers was to make that all defensive team in her final season. Tennessee down 14. Oh, Burrell gets the friendly roll. Good action. It frees up Roush. Buries the three. And a steal. It's Johnson. Brown trailing. Finds her. Lays it in. 15 point lead again for the Wolverines. Telling the printers to get it over to the wing because she felt like she had the seal, but they're not doing that. She's got it. Turns right shoulder, banks it in. There's 135. Brown cruising by everyone. Shot rejected. She spent 10 years at St. John's. Remember, as the head coach, led that program to the Sweet 16 nine years ago. That was the furthest that it, they've ever advanced. That leads all scores. Horston takes it right to the rim. That's in. Nine point game again. So whether it was off of on ball screens or some of their handoffs, they just really closed up the paint, making it hard for Tennessee. Well, Michigan, it's going to extend its stay in San Antonio. Moving on to the Sweet 16 for the first time ever.